So in this video, I'm just going to quickly show you how to install Google Tag Manager to a WordPress website, which is what I'm doing currently for my new blog, b2bhero.co. This video is sponsored by b2bhero.co, which is my blog. Check it out, please. Uh, there's a link in the description below. But the first thing you need to do is go to um, tagmanager.google.com, which type in Tag Manager into Google search, and you can just sign up to Tag Manager. It's completely free. And I would say this is the best way to put all your tags on your website, on your WordPress, on any website you have for that matter, just use Google Tag Manager. There are a few different ways you can install, for example, a Facebook Pixel or you know LinkedIn Insight Tag. So here's like, for example, an Insight Tag LinkedIn. You can install it yourself. You can go directly to the website and just put your Insight Tag on your website. Or you can, for example, tell a developer to do it for you, or you can use a tag manager. And the reason why you want to use a tag manager is because it's just way easier to manage the whole conversions and tags and everything. And you don't have to log in and mess around with the website code. Google Tag Manager, you just install Google Tag Manager to your website and then everything, all the other code and pixels and conversions, everything's done through Google Tag Manager. It's a much, much better way of doing it, especially if, if you have more than one tag. And I'd highly recommend you get the LinkedIn Insight tag. Even if you don't want to do LinkedIn ads, just get the LinkedIn Insight tag on your website or WordPress website for the reason that it gives you such incredible job demographic data which facebook and google can't give you linkedin can because it has all this data on where people work um who they work for what job titles they have uh, you know job related data so on your in linkedin you can see this uh data you can see okay people you can even see like where which company people came from if the company's big enough like coca-cola or a big big company you can see that people have been visiting your website from coca-cola and you can also see, okay, loads of managers came to my, uh, uh, marketing managers came to my website, or loads of sales directors come to my website. This is the kind of data you get from LinkedIn, so I'd highly recommend it. So go to Google Tag Manager, and then just go, firstly, we need to install it. So let's see how we install it. Go to Admin, and then in Admin, we go down to Install Google Tag Manager. And here, we have two bits of code. So one is you meant to put in the head, and the other one you put in the body. So let's copy the one from the head. Next, for WordPress, you can get a lot of different types of plugins that you can use. So I've just been using header and footer. Um, it's post injections, head, head, footer, and post injections. It's a really, you know, they're all pretty much the same. They're all pretty good. Just, I, I recommend this one. So basically to get that one, go down to plugins. So in WordPress, go down to plugins on the side. And then when you're on plugins, you can just type, type in head of, head of footer or head of foot, in fact. And then you'll find it head footer and post injections. Just install that. I've already installed it. And once you've installed it, then um, you can, this is how it looks like. And you can find it. Once, if it, once it's installed, you can go to settings, down to header and footer, and then this is going to come up. So in Google Tag Manager, you want to be pasting this into the head. So copy this, make sure that's copied. Go back to your settings, header and footer, and literally you want to put this on every page. So just paste, paste that there. Then you want to go down, back to Google Tag Manager, copy the body and go back here and just put it literally here on every page on desktop and also on mobile. And that's it. You go down to the bottom, you click save and you wait till it's saved and that should be done. So now we need to double check. It's definitely there. And the way we check is by getting Google Tag Assistant. It's totally free as well. Google has all this stuff, which is totally free. And it's the way that you can just check on your website. If we So if we go to my website, b2bhero.co, um, and we're here, now we're gonna check on Google Tag Manager whether or not it's installed. So we go here. Let's enable, enable it, click on it again. And as you can see here, we've got Google site tag already there, um, but it's installed. Google Tag Manager is there. So you can check with Google Tag Manager and that's it really. Um, it's kind of a similar kind of way of doing it on other websites, but I would 100% recommend doing it even if you have Squarespace or um, other, thing, uh, other you know, website builders. 100% just use, use Google Tag Manager rather than putting all the pixels directly on the website. 